Hey guys, this is a tutorial on using clipping masks. I've already copied an image, the, at least the image that I was using as an example in class, to my clipboard. And now I'm going to go ahead and open up a document. The size kind of doesn't matter as long as it's bigger than the image. So I'll just do the most common size. I chose the web preset and common, and I'll click create. Wondermus. All right, and then I'm going to press control V to paste that image in there. Just like that, and there's uh, Deadpool. And if you want to get obsessive right now, you can, but um, I'm going to go to Object and Artboards and Fit to Selected Art, so it fits really nicely around the image. The next thing um, you don't want to do is use this as a template, but you might want to just uh, lock it. Because yeah, I don't want to move this around, I just want to work around it. But here we go, I'm making a clipping mask here really quick. I'm going to clip all the way around him. I'll uh, pause this part because I feel like it's probably redundant. As you can see, I have him cut out now. Just went around and made an outline around him. And I'm going to unlock this background image now. Okay. So this is my clipping mask right here. I don't want to move it. If I press Shift X, I can switch it so it's a full solid color. And all I do is I select these two at once, like this, and then right click and say Make Clipping Mask. And there you have it. You actually get to see what I clipped. Now, there's a few things I want you to know about clipping masks and how they work. One is um, how do you turn it off? So if you right click and release clipping mask, you can just turn it right off. One of the weird things about clipping masks is whenever you create them, whatever color you had applied goes away. And that kind of leaves you under the impression that you really can't add color to it anymore, but that's not actually true. So this is in front and this is behind. So what happens is, is it becomes the mask to everything else. So if I say make clipping mask, there it goes. And as you can see, he's completely cut out. Now, if you look inside of the layers panel, you'll see a clipping mask, and then you'll see the image itself. One thing that, um, after, it actually was a couple of years before I figured this out. I, I figured that once you it's a clipping mask, you're just kind of stuck, but that there's no stroke, there's no fill, but that's not actually true at all. If you go over here and you click the little donut, that means you have the mask selected. If you were to add, like a like in this case, I'll add a black stroke around the um, edge. Black stroke, I don't know how I chose white right there, but I did. I'm under the weather today, so okay, there we go. As you can see, I've got that nice black stroke right there. Now when I select this with my black arrow, it'll select everything, but if I use my white arrow, actually, I don't have to select that donut. I could, I could pretty much just select this um, outline. <coughs> and as you can see, I can actually move it around, and that'll change the way this mask looks. So somewhere like maybe like right here on him you saw some white stuff showing through we could just move this and change the way this all looks so if you didn't like the cut out like right here I see a little bit of the background I could just bring that down and I could fix it which I think is pretty nice you know it's kind of a cool feature and I could turn this back off or I could leave it on now if you had a fill here it's gonna look like nothing happened right it will look like that, but I do want you to see in, if I take my white arrow, it'll actually select inside of this clipping mask. And if I move this, you can see that color is back there. So anywhere that was transparent would actually show through to that color that I can't see. So that is happening. So you can see something. You can see it down here in this area as well. I don't really need it, but uh, there you have it. Bottom line is, pick for, for, for the example, for the homework assignment, pick something, cut it out, select all of it, and make a clipping mask. And there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this stuff off. Again, I'm using the white arrow because I can. And that's how clipping masks work.